How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to repair the uh, PN43D490 Samsung TV. This is a plasma model. So the problem with this TV is that uh, it doesn't have any power. Um, this model is similar to the PN43D430 and 450. And uh, basically the problem, like I said, uh, it doesn't have any power. As you can see the LED on the left side is blinking. Um, as soon as I try to turn it on, it just... Uh, tries to turn on but it's, there's just a constant clicking uh, inside the TV which is basically the relay trying to power on the TV um, like I said you're gonna hear some clicking if you have this problem you're gonna hear some clicking inside of the TV or you might see your uh, red LED on the left side blinking uh, there's just no power so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we can find okay so here's the back of the TV so most of the time the uh, the problem with this specific model tends to be the uh, X main board which is the one on the right side. So this one right here. That tends to be uh, the most problematic board within this uh, model. Uh, usually the power supply does not fail. You don't really have to change a lot of capacitors in the power supply for this model unless you really have some uh, bulging capacitors or, or capacitors that seem to be leaking um, it's the power supply in this model rarely fails another common issue with this model is the uh, Y main board which is this one right here but the first thing that you should probably check is the uh, the X main which is what I'm going to do right now so I'm going to go ahead and take it out and check some transistors Okay, so here's my uh, X main, and I'm going to check some of the uh, transistors on the back of the uh, board. And let me show you real quick how. Um, so right now I'm, I'm testing them in diode mode. I have my uh, multimeter in diode mode, and so what, what we need to get is around 0.4 to 0.6, uh, something in between. So let me check this one. So that's not good because that means that we have continuity. So there's just basically uh, uh, the voltage is just flowing right through it uh, as though it's actually a bridge. So that's not good either. So that means uh, this this transistor as well as this transistor right here are bo both uh, blown out. Uh, and let's check these two over here. So same thing. Yeah, so uh, four, at least four of the transistors uh, in this X main um, are blown out. And so sometimes you are able to find uh, repair kits for this specific X main. However, I recommend that you don't repair the, uh, the X main. Uh, I recommend that you actually swap it for a working X main board because sometimes uh, I've seen even technicians that try to. Uh, replace the transistors and in some cases uh, what ends up happening is that the, the actual X main blows out and you end up blowing uh, the Y main or the Y sustain so like I said the best thing to do is just to go ahead and replace the whole board uh, just get a, a working replacement uh, from either shop uh, shopjimmy.com or eBay um, they're not that expensive you can probably get one for uh, 30 to 40 bucks uh, in this case like I said I'm gonna replace this board and that should be able to repair my TV okay so I just finished uh, replacing the X main and once again if you have this problem where uh, you hear clicking on the back of the TV and there's no power basically the clicking is a relay and that's attempting to turn on the TV uh, the problem with this specific model is the X main right here uh, sometimes you might have a bad X main in a bad uh, Y sustain or Y main uh, but like I said most of the time in this specific model it tends to be just the X main so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the antenna and plug in the power so we can turn it on
Okay, so it's plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so the logic board, which is this one right here, has to blink about once every second. Okay, so that's a good sign. I have sound. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the TV is uh, now working great. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't, uh, don't forget to post them in the comment section. Uh, please like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.